Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading between or re <laughs> focusing on you and your person, the person you're connecting with right now. It's going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, and check out your other placements for more messages. So let's get right into it, Pisces. Spirit for Pisces, please. What messages do you have for Pisces regarding the person they are connecting with at this time? What do they need to know? What do they need to know regarding the person they are connecting with at this time? So Pisces, I'm going to be having you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Um, and also... Keep in mind that timing is fluid, so anything I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. Okay, let's look at your mutual energies. Oh my gosh, my cards just want to talk. Mutual energies between Pisces and the person they are connecting with at this time, Spirit for me. Thank you. Wow, okay. We have Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth, communication, the world, new cycle here, or the end of a cycle. And King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is just someone who is very grounded and stable, knows what they want, works hard for what they want. This is also someone who's typically in a committed relationship. So let's look at your energies, Pisces. I'm going to put you over here. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see, Pisces. What are Pisces' current thoughts or feelings towards this connection, Spirit? Pisces' thoughts or feelings towards this connection. Three of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. So you are no longer putting an effort in something, or something you put in effort or worked on didn't go anywhere. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Interesting. So I feel like you have your eye on something. You're headed towards something. It could be this person. We have death, sign of Scorpio. Very interesting. I feel like you're possibly the one ready for a new cycle. A new beginning here. There's a rebirth happening in your life. So let's see your person. Tell me about Pisces' person. What are their thoughts or feelings? towards this connection, the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection? So we have the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles reversed. This person wants out of this energy of feeling like there's no communication, no warmth between you. There could be um, distance between you as well, emotional distance. There could be a lot of time that has passed that you haven't been with this person. Um, or if you're in a connection with this person, possibly if you're in a committed relationship with this person, um, they, they feel like there's been a disconnect and they want to overcome that. Four of Swords. So this person has been really thinking about this. They've possibly been healing. Um... With Nine of Pentacles up here, this person could be single on this side. Um, or they're seeing you as a Nine of Pentacles energy, somebody who has it all, who doesn't need anybody else. This Nine of Pentacles is independent and free. They provide for themselves. They don't rely on anybody. They could be seeing you that way or they are in that state of mind right now. Very interesting. And I almost get the sense with this Knight of Wands facing this way. It's like this Knight of Wands wants to go towards this King of Pentacles or towards this person over here. So let's clarify, Pisces. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Pisces regarding the person they are connecting with. Help me clarify these messages, please. For Pisces. Okay, let's start with the Ace of Swords. For Pisces, Spirit. What's this Ace of Swords about here? For Pisces. Oops. 
Eight of Wands. Re oh, hold on. Eight of Wands reversed. My battery's dying. <laughs> Eight of Wands reversed for you guys. So there's either um, lack of communication or interception or inter. Can't talk. An intercepted message. Interception. Did I just make up a word? Okay, Ace of Swords. What is this about for Pisces? Tell me more. This could also mean lack of movement. Hierophant reversed. Hierophant reversed. Sign of Taurus here with the Hierophant reversed. Hierophant reversed. This is someone who's rebelling against social norms. This could be uh, symbolizing a broken contract. This could be somebody who has left behind status and order. This is also someone who's not listening to spiritual advice. Give me one more for the Ace of Swords. For Pisces. What's this Ace of Swords doing here? Seven of Cups reversed. So there was confusion at some point, options at some point. Someone has either made a decision, has chosen an option, or is just seeing something very clearly right now. It could be, okay, I'm getting a few messages. It could be that someone is seeing clearly the end of a relationship or the end of a commitment. There was confusion, um, possibly there was a lot of fantasizing and it was like a dream that wasn't real there was no movement in this connection for others of you someone wants to communicate or clear the air and they there's been some sort of message that's been intercepted or blocked or they're, they're not they're stuck in delivering this message and i feel like this message has to do with a commitment it could also be that someone is going against what other people expect from them in order to make this communication let's see what well, can you tell me about the world the Pisces ten of wands okay so someone is burdened and is ready to drop this burden King of Swords. Someone um, very rational here. This is someone very um, thinking logically about a situation that I feel like they realize has been a burden to them. See how this person on the Ten of Wands side is kind of going on a journey um, with a, uh, you know, there's a lot of bags packed. <laughs> and I really am getting the sense that this person is ready to leave a burden behind. Aries, uh, not Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here with the King of, of Swords. This is also someone who's interested in the truth. So I feel like this King of Swords is ready for a new cycle. So then who is this uh, King of Pentacles here? What can you tell me about this King of Pentacles? Could be that there's two um, energy, two energies involved here. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, I feel like there's a couple here. A Queen, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is a divine partnership. This King of Pentacles could want to have a very um, I have the Ace of Swords twice. So this King of Pentacles, I feel, is the one that wants to communicate with their Queen of Pentacles, which I feel is their partner. Because typically, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are in a marriage. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, please. Interesting. You could be dealing with two people, Pisces. Or you could be this King of Swords energy and your person could be this King of Pentacles energy. Or you could be this Queen of Pentacles and your person is this. Basically what I'm trying to say is there's two people here with the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. You would know best because you know your situation. Wheel reversed. 
Again, with that feeling of stuck, no movement. This is also bad timing, bad luck. But the wheel is constantly turning. I feel like once this communication happens, once the air is cleared with this partner, I think the wheel will be turning again in your favor. So this is very interesting to me. Because I'm getting the sense that there is a few people in this in this situation. And the world here, this card has three people, almost like a three of cups card. So if this is a third party situation, then that makes sense to me why there is someone that needs to come clean with the Ace of Swords. I feel like someone's gonna break a commitment with the Hierophant reversed. I think it's this King of Swords or this King of Pentacles, one of these two. But the timing is off. Something is not, something's just not going to, it's almost like this is the worst possible timing, but this person still needs to communicate this, you know? Let's see, I have the Ten of Swords reversed at the bottom here. So this is someone who's overcoming a very painful ending, who's healing from a very painful ending. So let's see. Let's look over here at this Three of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone here stopped putting an effort in something, period. They're not working on something anymore. They're not giving their time or energy to something anymore. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles reversed. The sun reversed because it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. The, the happiness was short-lived as well. Or they thought it was going to make them happy, but it, it ended up not being that way. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles Reverse. One more, please. There's Three of Pentacles Reverse. Three of Wands. Yeah, this person's looking out, waiting for something else to come in. Waiting to venture out as well. High Priest is at the bottom, so... I feel like their intuition has led them to make this decision of not putting in effort anymore. But they they have interest in something with the Knight of Wands here. This is when someone's like really passionate, really um, driven about something. And then they just are going to go for it with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. It's like you, you, this person sees the potential. And I think this is you, Pisces. But again, feel free to flip the roles. You see the potential of something. And you want to go out and get it. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands, please. Two of Pentacles reversed. You were really going back and forth about it. But I feel like you made a decision. A ball, um, one of these balls that you were juggling has dropped. Emperor's reversed. So I feel like you, um, you tried to manifest something to grow, to create something, and it didn't work out. And so now you're headed towards something else. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Four of Cups reversed. So there's been a change of heart. You have a renewed interest in something. Something that didn't interest you in the past is interesting you now. And you're headed towards it. Quickly. Tell me about death. Sign of Scorpio here with death. Um, this is someone ending something, going through a rebirth. A change here. Tell me more. Four of Wands reversed. I feel like you're leaving a connection. You're ending a connection here. Possibly a marriage. This could also be that there was no harmony or there is no harmony at this time. And you want to like transform or change that. But more than anything, I, I don't think you want to work on this anymore. This Four of Wands. Tell me more about this death card. 
seven of pentacles reversed because you feel like you've just wasted your time there's no growth here again no growth um you've invested in the wrong thing and it's left you feeling this five of pentacles energy you could have like shut someone out um you could have blocked someone stopped communicating with someone i think it's this person because you have the five of pentacles upright and they have it reversed so they want out of this energy that you, it seems, put them in. So tell me about this Nine of Pentacles over here for your person. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? For Pisces, the person that Pisces is dealing with. Five of Wands reversed. Wow. This person really wants to fix things. If you guys have been having arguments or fights like they want to fix it they want to overcome this energy of not seeing eye to eye of interesting tell me about this nine of pentacles for Pisces. thank you judgment call reversed or judgment reversed bad judgment call wow can i talk today so this person recognizes that they screwed up possibly there was they had a, a big part to play in the arguments that you had um they're also evaluating the what happened in the past tell me more about this nine of pentacles reverse this person could have had a bad karma three of swords reversed if this is a third party i feel like this person made a decision about which person to go for I don't think that was the right decision or may, they might have chosen the wrong person. This is also someone who could be overcoming heartbreak, overcoming this energy of fighting all the time. Um, this person is almost like, I want to say they're in a better state of mind. And so they're able to overcome and heal from their mistakes, from what happened in the past, from what didn't work out. Um, so there's two stories here that I'm seeing. Pick which, whichever one resonates with you. I'm reading for a lot of people, so I'm trying to say all the messages that I'm getting for everyone because someone might need to hear that. I know it can get a little confusing, but there's a lot of you watching. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles reversed for Pisces. The lovers reversed. Yeah, there was some sort of bad decision this person made they chose the wrong person this person chose the wrong thing um the lover's upright is a choice between the head and the heart between the mind and the and, and your emotions i feel like someone here chose for the wrong re chose someone for the wrong reason this could also be um, that there was a breakup here. And I think you put someone in a five of pentacles energy and this person wants out of that. Tell me more about the five of pentacles reversed. I feel like someone's trying to heal. Page of cups. So this person could want to apologize to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person could want to communicate how they feel with you. That Ace of Swords energy. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles reverse. Oh man. We have the Moon and Seven of Swords reversed. There you are, Pisces, with the Moon. Um, with the Seven of Swords reversed, this person, I feel like, they they were caught doing something that you suspected i think you knew that something your intuition was telling you something wasn't right and you let this person go um and now they want to apologize or just express how they feel clear the air tell me about this four of swords nine of wands yeah this person's trying to heal they're they're uh, tired exhausted um 
they've been through a lot. I feel like a lot of time has passed for this person or they've been in this state of, of mind of feeling tired and worn out for a long time. They're not giving up. They're trying to still heal this connection or trying to really think about how to make this happen. And here's the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like they want to approach you slowly with an offer of commitment here. And there's a Four of Swords again. They're really thinking about this. I want to drop my cards. They're really thinking about this. So I still don't understand though. I mean, to me, I have a King of Pentacles and, and you know, feel free to tell me in the comments. I love when you guys do that, when you were like, oh, it makes perfect sense to me, here's why. So if this makes more sense to you, let me know because I feel like there's two, there's two different people here with this King of Pentacles and King of Swords. I feel like this King of Swords um, wants to drop a baggage or drop a burden here and start a new cycle. And I think that might be you, Pisces, over here. I feel like you're ready for something new with this Knight of Wands. You see the potential elsewhere. You have a change of heart about something. Um, and so you're going after it. I feel like you've wasted your time and you're ready for a new beginning. You feel like you've wasted your time. So I think this might be you, this King of Swords. I think with this Ace of Swords, this higher font reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse, I think this is you. You put a stop to something. You cut something out because you saw this person for who they truly were. Okay, now this is making more sense. This is this person. This person's trying to appear, this person here, they're trying to appear to be Mr. or Mrs. Commitment. They want to have a communication with you because they want to be in a partnership with you again but this is bad timing or this isn't is, is not going to work out i feel this person this king of pentacles has really been thinking about how to approach you they don't want to give up on this connection they've made a bad judgment call in the past it bit them in the butt and now they want to come in and apologize you saw this person for who they truly were. They were caught doing something. Caught lying, caught cheating, caught having a third party, fill in the blank. And now they, they have a lot of emotions towards you. They want to approach you, but you put them out in the cold. Okay, so now I'm seeing. Okay, so that makes more sense. However, if there are a lot of people, I can see that happening as well, because usually when I get kings and queens, um, I, I feel like there's more people involved than I know of. So it could be family members, friends, different partners, etc. Now this person, I have the page of pentacles under the deck. So this person is ready to communicate with you. Um, I feel like you can expect communication from them because I think it's eating them up inside that you are moving on. And that's what I see you doing. I see you closing this chapter, Pisces. I see you changing your situation. I think you've spent a lot enough time in this connection. I think now you can't ignore what you know. You know, you're king of swords here. So it's like you've evaluated everything. You're not thinking with your emotions anymore. You're thinking with your head. And you're thinking of something else. But this person, I feel like they are they're going to want to communicate and tell you, try to win you back. It's kind of what I see here. I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope it resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. If it didn't resonate, check out your other placements. Uh, those can resonate more for you. Uh, thanks so much to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.